I'm using, this is a camera stand, it's a, it's a B170 size 14. Use whatever hoot you've got, I mean I've got some barbless ones here as well that I'm going to be tying on. It's easy to rebarb these hooks anyway, so, what should I do a lot? Thread, dark thread, obviously dark brown, uni, AO. Just going to wax the thread, bring it down halfway along the shank. Remove the base piece and then come back up about two thirds of the way for the first part of the wing. And the deer here in this case. Now, this is the deer here. It's just a basically this part of the deer is from the row deer that I'm using, and it's quite dark at the tips. This is runs along the ridge of the back of the, the skin, and you'll find that the, the hair is slightly stiffer and obviously darker. Now what I've done here is just removing any broken ends, take away the fluff, get your hair stacker, tips in, tap on your desk and it should be lined up. Now when you're tying or performing this thing, this is about, about a third of the, the day here that you would normally put on. So look at the length, shank, tie that forward. Come down two or three turns, come down a bit, and now I can break this off. Now don't worry, that will stay in strong. Especially if you've got the wax, I always wax the thread with plenty of grip. Then we come to our wing. Our wing is hen pheasant, this is hen pheasant quill. Now the best side normally would be used would be this side here. This would be normally used in wets and dries. Now I'm using the pale side and the side that curves away from the feather, which is ideal for dry flies. Now you need a right and a left side. So cut a slip from either side, round about maybe for this size, four millimetres round about that, be ideal. What we do now is line up these tips. You see how naturally it curves away, now that's perfect for dry flies. And then what we want to do is obviously make sure they're lined up, tie it forward, just as we've done with the deer here. Now you look at the length, just check where your, where your thread is sitting, close to the deer here. Get the length that we want, get it really on the top of the shank, and pinch your fingers so that it holds it. Bring the thread up into your fingers, do a pinching loop, Allow the thread to slide through your, your fingers to the hook. Tighten up. Do it again. Nice and tight. And then have a wee quick look. Now that's, that's enough. That's plenty. Turn this away. Again, a wee bit of wax on my thread. Tidy this area up. Tie in some more deer here. See where the wing is sitting, okay, that looks fine. Same patch of deer here. Same amount as we did at the front. Now, basically, as these the deer here is part of the wing, but it's more uh, of legs than the wing, because the wing is now is the feather. Just tap it on your desk, line up the ends again. Get the length that you want, the distance, I mean, you want looking about a couple of turns from the, the wing. Don't want to be right up against it. At this point, it's always important that to have a wee quick look to see how it's in. Now that looks okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm winding down. What I'm trying to do here is form a, a nice platform or a nice base for the, the body. So as I wind down, I can tear away some of the deer here. Look at the taper that you're forming. When you're happy, you can then, like I'm doing there, breaking it off. If you missed any, just come in. If you can break them away, break them away do it. Let me go. And then we can run with thread to the, the barb. So I'm going to line with the barb of the hook. Tail. 
tail could be really anything. I'm using just a natural brown. This is a Chinese cock uh, feather and I'm just using some fibres. Now you can use micro fibbets, cock de leon, use whatever you like. Now don't be shy with the fibres, you need enough for the tail. Length, you're looking around the length of the hook. Just offer it. So on my side, come over with a turn onto the bare hook. Thread underneath these fibres, let them go, and then use that turn. Bring it, thread to the front. This will lift and separate the fibres. Give you a nice dry fly tail. And then we can trim away the waist and keep it the length of the body. Now what I've got here is, this is dyed olive peacock carol. Now I want the dark, I don't want the, the quill from the eye. I want it further down, I want it really dark. These, the hero and these fibres further down the stem of the feather are a lot darker. And it's, I'm just going to do it with a nail just to show you how easy it is. I'm just going to remove these fibres going against the natural flow of these fibres. They'll come away reasonably but easy. You can use a rubber, but I'm just going to, you'll not be able to see that. So I'm going to use my nail. A bit messy looking, but just run your fingers your nail through it. You'll get a couple of flies out of this. Just run it through. There you go. There we are. Covered my fly. Anyway, I'm going to clean that up. And then what we can do is catch it on the side. Again, the full length of the body. And then we can come up touch and turns with your thread. Hopefully you've got a nice smooth base ready for your quilt. So I'll put short of your deer here. Now to protect this what I'll do is just put some super glue on the, the thread and then wind the quilt on top. Just one turn in front of the other. Work our way up. And there we are. Now you could coat it with a varnish or a UV resin. It's up to yourself. Catch it off. Three or four turns, trim away the waist. And then the dubbing. Dubbing can be dyed or natural. This is just natural. It's a, a mix of rabbit and fox squirrel. Just lightly dub it onto your thread. And then we can tidy up. You turn at the back, you can lift some of the deer here, just watch your wing, wind it through now, I'm just going to get some more of this side, take your time in coming through, you can lift your wing up, and then the deer at the front, tighten up my dubbing a wee bit, I mean put a few turns or two or three turns at the front, now what this will do is spread the fibre. When you're happy with the amount of dubbing you can just basically tidy up. Anything going forward the eye draw it back. And then a bit of varnish onto the thread and what finish. And there we are, and that's the fly finish, tighten the knot. Trim that away, and there we go. Now the wing, you can see it's sitting nice. What we can do is just I'm gonna separate it just so you can see. See what the wing looks like. Now you could put a wee bit of resin in there, which should be ideal to keep it apart. But once you start to cast this anyway, it's gonna break up. It's gonna mix in with the the deer here. There you go.